Okay, so um, yeah, I wanted to talk about this new, well, to me new, it's actually old, uh, I guess, about a um, about a decade old, um, the gold list study method. I just found out about this and I'm like a little, like, what, really? <laughs> um, and uh, I'm very familiar with Anki, of course, and using that and other spaced repetition uh, methods. This I have never heard of. Uh, the way it works is, if you haven't heard about it, is uh, you get a notebook, a pen, and 25 words that you want to learn. And you allocate 20 minutes to this endeavor. So you sit down and copy the 25 words into the list. Oh, you put the date on top first. Uh, you, uh, and Actually, you can, all right, start over. You open page one, you want to have a blank page on your left, ideally, and blank page on your right. Okay, write the date, then uh, write down one through 25, then write uh, the words on your left, and the translation on the right. Uh, this should take maybe 15 minutes. It took me about 15 minutes to do. I suppose it depends on the uh, language, the writing system, etc. cetera. Um, to, anyway, copy it down, then read it over. Read it out loud a couple times, maybe. Um, concentrate, visualize it. Don't cram it. Don't quiz yourself. Don't test yourself. Um, you're just looking at it and thinking about it. And then close the book. Two weeks later, come back. Look at the 25 words that you have written down. And you want to eliminate 30%. Uh, this is called distilling. You want to eliminate 30%. Ideally, 30% of the words you remembered and 70% you forgot over the over two weeks without putting any effort into it. Just the way long-term memory is supposed to maybe work. <laughs> so you then eliminate th the 30% that you think you know the best. You're not supposed to to test yourself per se, just look everything over and decide, yes, these this 30% I know the best. The other 70% I am going to copy down on the next page uh, on, a, on a new list, 1 to 18 or whatever, with a new date for today. Repeat the process, read it, uh, concentrate, the whole, the whole thing again, 20 minutes you want to be spending on this. And two weeks later, you come back, repeat the process, uh, distill it 30%, eliminate 30%. Um, and make a, a, write down the, the, the remaining uh, in, the, in the notebook there, the new date. Then you do it again two weeks later. And this is the, I'm not sure what you're down to now, maybe five, six words. These are, you're now done with that list for this book. It's a bronze book. It's called the gold list. And what happens is uh, you have a next another notebook that's going to be your silver notebook. And you'll... Make a new head list of the date, copy the five words into it that, you, that, that were left over into this new list. Uh, presumably, you'll have other 25 word lists that are in your notebook that you're also learning that got distilled down to five words or so. Uh, so you'll have several lists to draw upon and to make a, a new head list in your silver book, which you will then um, repeat the process uh, every two weeks, uh, limiting 30%. Uh, four times, and then you will have a third notebook called the Gold Book if you decide to go this far. And apparently, the uh, Uncle Davy, the guy who developed this, feels this is optional. Uh, you may know everything well enough that you don't need to continue, but um, the, the, it's called the Gold List. So you copy everything, uh, copy five words from each, the most difficult five words from each 25 word list in your Silver Book into your new Gold Book, distill it four times, and then you're done. Yeah. So, does that really work? Um, after just look at a list of words and think about it for a bit, then don't think about it for two weeks and you'll remember some of it for real. Because that would eliminate a lot of effort, a lot of work. I was, uh, I guess, a lot of people um, are complaining. Oh, this uh, when get, when being presented with this idea. Oh, I don't have twenty minutes to sit down and focus on. Yeah. You, Compared to that's comparing 20 minutes once every two weeks as opposed to 20 minutes every day for two weeks, which is essentially how I've been approaching foreign languages. Um, 
I would sit down and, and cram it. <laughs> if I'm, I'm using some apps, some spaced repetition apps to presumably cram things a little less often than, than, than every word every day, but almost, uh, essentially. Um, anyway, <laughs> so this has me very intrigued. I'm thinking, oh my God, I can use this. I'm going to, um, I'm going to, uh, learn lots more vocabulary. I'm going to, instead of spending all my time cramming, cramming, cramming vocabulary, I'm going to learn language. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll have to figure that out. That's uh, if you have ideas for what to do, if you're not cramming vocabulary when you're learning a new language, because I can't read books. I can't just watch TV. <laughs> I can't talk to people. <laughs> what else do you do if you're not cramming vocabulary? I can make new lists, lots and lots of new lists. I will have one full no, uh, bronze notebook ready after two weeks for distilling. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. Um, so this is my, my beginning, my list. You can see this is the head list. This will be the distilled list. It's going to go on to, um, oh, I've done it twice, anyway, it's going to come down to this page. Uh, I should be able to fit two distillations onto this page, and then I'll, I'll finish here. And of course, this new list here, I'm repeating it. Now, in theory, the author says that you should have a notebook with lots of lines, I guess 36 lines. I think in Europe, that's actually more normal. I was in Germany a little bit during uh, when I was in college, and I remember the notebook sizes were different, which was interesting when I went to the stationery store. So you could fit, uh, he, he's European, the, the author, he's not American. Um, you could fit, you would do your first list here, then put the distilled list here, then the third one goes here, and the fourth one fits down here. But my notebook doesn't work that way. I bought it from Walmart, and I'm not... Although I'm sure if there's probably different notebooks that exist at stationery stores, I'm not going to worry about it. Yeah. Not supposed to look at it. Just relax. Yeah. Um, anyway, so that's the gold list. If anyone has tried the gold list, liked it, didn't like it, um, other methods that are interesting for learning vocabulary, especially ones that eliminate work, <laughs> space it out. I uh, would love to hear about it if you make a comment. Thank you very much.